Well, that Trump's now president of the United States, you want to listen to somebody. You might want to listen to those protesters with their heads up their ass. People like McDonough that wants to blow up the White House. I encourage you to listen to some business executives. This one here from Dow Chemical Worldwide. The one after him, Ford Motor Company CEO. Listen to what these folks have to say. Hold on a second. I've got uh, business leaders leaving that meeting with President Trump earlier. Dow Chemical CEO, listen in, please. Real threats that we've heard on the campaign trail, and we just heard it today, and that if you bring men, if you bring jobs across the border and products back in, there is going to be a heavy tax. One, do you take him at his word for that? Do you believe that could be a possibility? And then two, on the corporate tax side today, he seemed to move the goalposts a little bit from 15 to 20 percent. Is that an environment that you would still be happy with? Well, I can't speak for the company around us, other than we did talk about the border tax quite a bit, and we did talk about the sorts of industries that might be helped or hurt by that. Uh, look, I would take the president at his word here. He's not going to do anything to harm competitiveness. He's going to actually make us all more competitive, recognizing there's a transition here in terms of you can't get things done overnight. Maybe Mark Fields, you would like to add some comments? Where did Mark uh, disappear on me? Would you like to add some comments on the auto industry in particular? You know, I do. Uh, Mark, you Mark, 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 Mark. Mark Fields, Ford Motor Company. I think, you know, walking out of the meeting today, uh, I know I come out with a lot of confidence that the president is very, very serious on making sure that the United States economy is going to be strong and they have policies, tax, regulatory, or trade to drive that. And I think that encourages all of us as CEOs as we make decisions going forward. So it was a very, very positive meeting. And I think very positive uh, meeting for the United States of America and manufacturing in general. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. That's what I would encourage you to listen to. People that can make a difference in this country. Not Trump. Not just Trump. These folks.